Hi, my name is Susan Manzanares, and I am a liver recipient. I'm three years post-transplant, and I'd like to share my story with you. In 2010, I was diagnosed with end-stage liver disease, and I started working with the liver clinic and transplant team at the University of Utah. And each year, um, I progressively became sicker and sicker. And in 2013, my partner here, Wendy, <laughs> Wendy was my admin who worked for me. And one day, I didn't show up for work. And Wendy came out to try and find out where I was and what happened to me. And she found me sitting on my front porch. And I didn't have a clue who I was, where I was, or I didn't know any, anything about where I was because I had encephalitis so bad. So, Wendy, do you want to tell your side? So I got it, convinced her to get in the car and I took her to the hospital and um, they immediately took her down to the U where she spent a long time in the hospital. They did not release her because the doctor said if they released her, she would die. So, go for it. <laughs> okay. So that was in 2013. And I, as I said, I progressively got sicker and sicker. And in 2014, in July of 2014, I got my first call to um, become a transplant recipient. So I was admitted um, to the hospital in July. And unfortunately, that, that call, um, that organ was not um, able to be transplanted. It wasn't good enough to be transplanted. So they sent me back home. I got another call in September to be uh, transplanted again. So we went through the same process, got down. I wasn't able to get it then. So in October, I got another call. Same thing, we went down. I was the secondary patient and the primary got that um, organ also. So by December of 2014, I was basically giving up. I honestly didn't think that I was going to survive and be able uh, to get a transplant. So I continued to work full time and then I'd go home and rest at night so I could get up and go to work again the next day. Then on March 30th of 2015, I got a pain in my right upper flank that would not go away. And um, I called my friend Wendy and <laughs> told her that about my pain and she said, well, you better go have it checked. So I immediately went down to the clinic. They looked at me and just said, there's nothing that I can do for you. They transported me up to Ogden Regional Emergency Room and they started doing tests and they really didn't know what was going on. And so my son said, you know, we need to transport you down to the University of Utah and they admitted me that night. By Wednesday of that week, um, my surgeon came in and said that I was um, critical, that um, he wouldn't release me because I would pass away. And I asked him, you better start searching for a, a new donor liver for me. And on Saturday morning of that week, it was April 4th, 2015, they came in and said they had found a donor and on Easter Sunday, April 5th of 2015, they came and got me and I was able to receive my transplant. It was a, a beautiful, beautiful um, gift that I received from a local donor here. And um, what a precious gift of life that it, it has been for me. So I'm three years post-transplant and I'm doing well, and I love life, and I honor my donor for everything that he has done for me. That's my story.